miles per hour. So wind chills are making it feel colder. For the most part, wind chills have now just crept a little bit above zero, but it does feel like one below in Green Bay, and it feels like one in Oshkosh. And wind chills will quickly go below zero once again as the sun starts to set. Now, later on tonight into tomorrow morning, we're going to see frigid wind chills redevelop across the area. Overnight lows will be below zero. We'll have westerly winds at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. So by tomorrow morning, wind chills will be similar or colder than what we saw this morning. I'm thinking teens to around 20 degrees below zero. And once again, wind chills will be below zero throughout the day tomorrow. No wind chill advisories in effect right now. We'll have to wait and see if that does change. Now, there's a couple out to the west now across parts of Minnesota and Iowa. Once again, I think the wind chills tonight will be colder than what we saw last night. Even with lighter winds, temperatures are actually going to be colder. High pressure building in from the north and west. That will be our main weather maker. For the rest of the work week into the weekend, we have temperatures that are in the teens, but directly underneath that ridge of high pressure, only in the single digits this afternoon. And that area of high pressure is going to be moving overhead tomorrow. So the heart of the cold weather arrives later on tonight and then continues into tomorrow. So far this winter, we have had six days with sub-zero low temperatures. We will be adding another day tomorrow. This is what I'm expecting tomorrow morning. Temperatures will be Below zero everywhere, single digits below zero across the Fox Valley, but getting pretty close to 20 degrees below zero north and west of the Fox Valley, like around Anigo, Watoma probably in the mid-teens below zero. It will be just a little bit warmer near the shoreline of Lake Michigan. With that cold start, temperatures are not going to rebound much tomorrow. Even with tons of sunshine, tomorrow is probably going to be about three or four degrees colder than what we're seeing today. Most of us We'll only see highs in the lower teens. That's about 15 to 20 degrees below normal for 